And welcome to the Bear Country High School Basketball Post Game Report. We are also on FCAT tonight here for your viewing pleasure. Jeff Terrell, Chris Collins courtside. We have got final here at Goodno Gymnasium in South Deerfield. Make it seven in a row for the rampaging Frontier Red Hawk. Turner's Falls comes in with a three and seven overall record. Winless in Hampshire League play at 0-4. Chris Collins on the other side, the Frontier Red Hawks, one of the hottest teams around right now. Six and four overall, 4-0 in the Hampshire League North in first place. Winners of their last six, and what's really nice is that they're not riding one guy in this winning streak. It's been truly a team effort, which is what we saw the other night in that victory here against Smith Academy. Yeah, it's really interesting. After opening with four losses, it all just seemed to come together for this team. And and they're really clicking. Like you said, they're the hottest team right now, I think, in the Hampshire League on either side. Well, man, 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 oh, man, not a weak link not on the bench. The starting five, they're just cruising right now. Well, the, even the younger guys, the freshmen and sophomores who are playing their first year of varsity ball are playing like seniors. And when you've got that kind of chemistry, you've got a marquee big man in the middle who can dish it off. Uh, you've got guys that can stick it from anywhere and play tough defense. I mean, it, it, it's a total package right now. Night and day right now in terms of, of, the, of the level, the skill level, and the level of play on these two programs. Chris, what are the final numbers? For the Frontier Red Hawks, leading all scorers in the game, Carson Carey with 19 points, 15 for Ben Listowski, 13 for Kalen Evans. They were really the big three out there in terms of scoring. Eight for Donovan Hoffman, again impressive. Five for Owen Morris, three for Alan Sharp, and single foul shot for Peter Carey. Well, player of the game, a young man who is just a handful to deal with on both ends of the court. He certainly was tonight, Karsten Carey. Well, we saw him against Smith, and we, you know, he was impressive with the triple coverage. He got the quadruple cover tonight. But what was really, I think, made Karsten Carey stand out in this game was the way he handled Anthony Peterson, kept him six points. A thunderous block in the second half. But more importantly, when Carey gets that ball down low or in the paint, he knows how to kick it out. Some great passes. He probably had three or four assists. He set up Kalen Evans a couple of times. Ben Lestowski, I mean, just a complete player. And one of the, as a, as a sophomore and junior now, one of the premier big men in Western Mass. He is a player of the game. Yep. Far. And getting better all the time. He's uh, seemingly developing some uh, new post moves down low so we have them for the rest of this year and all of next year and it's going to be a blast frontier again they are in the zone big time they win it by a final score of 64 to 32.